Good morning world, welcome back. If you're wondering why I'm using Google Translator as my voice, it's because the microphones were playing up. But anyway, grab your peanuts and your beer and enjoy the show. Cue the intro. I was talking about this flute clamp meter and it's all right, but I'm actually going to be getting rid of it. I'm going to be giving this one away because I just don't like it. I just can't get on with it for some reason. Um, I actually just bought that 150 bucks. It's not cheap, but I just can't get on with it. So I'm going to be giving that away. That's going to be going out. Um, I'm going to, when you watch, by the time you watch this video, there'll be a post up on Instagram with this um, and then just go on to that. I'll leave a link for the Instagram thing down below. Um, and just uh, head over to Instagram, follow the instructions there, and uh, if you win, then I'll post it out to you. Yeah, we're still using this Bosch stuff. I do like this little 12 volt impact. That's, that is quite nice. I'll go through the Bosch stuff in a bit more detail. Uh, the radio, we figured out a way of getting it working. I'll show you later on, once I power this up, I'll show you how we did it. Uh, but the radio is now fantastic, without, but without the modification, it's a piece of shit. So, I'll go through it a little later. That's the moment where you go, oh fuck, I've now got to put it all back together and make sense of it. And there is a moment, I think all electricians get that, where you're pulling out like a large panel or something and you get to this point or a really awkward little single phase board and you're like, ah, fuck, I'm committed now, that's it. I haven't got a choice, you've got to keep going. But it's all right, I think the biggest thing is preparation. If you just take your time and just label everything up, the, the reinstallation isn't too bad. All right, so that is where we're at at the moment. So those boards have come off. I've got to try and offer up this one roughly in the same place. That would work. Something like that, maybe. I think that works. It's not at 1400, but I've got to cut the tray. About there. That is a behemoth of a fuse board. All right, let's see if we can offer that board up and start plotting out all the holes. Because on the top of these boards, on the domestic boards, you normally, you get all the pre-made cutouts. I'll show you, like these ones here, you get all the pre-made, all the cutouts for 20, 32, yada, yada, yada. But the sides and the top, they leave blank. Um, just so you can put whatever configuration you want in, which actually I think on, on bigger boards like this makes more sense rather than having dedicated because that might not suit your requirements. So I think it does actually work. I think it works better, personally. I'm using one of these weir uh, torque screwdrivers because the torque settings for this incoming switch is three and a half newton meters, right? And this weir screwdriver actually only goes up to three newton meters. So I don't understand what torque screwdriver you're supposed to use because that's three and this is three and a half. So I've just put it on the maximum setting and I'll just tighten it and then just go a tiny bit more. And I guess that's three and a half. But you'd actually be surprised how tight. That's three Newton meters. And it is surprising how, you know. I mean, it's a nice bit of kit, but it'd be nice if it went up to three and a half, you know? Anyway, let me throw this on the wall. One thing, yeah, if you're working, how can I put this? When you've got cables all lying around the fuse board, I, I've done it loads in my career where cables, this is why I leave them all bent up like this if I'm working down here. So basically, <laughs> I've done it before loads of times when I was an apprentice. I just left them like that. And of course you fucking poke your eye out with it. Hurts like fuck. So just leave them up just so that when you're working in that area, you don't, you don't hurt yourself. I know it sounds like a silly thing, but it took me a few attempts before eventually I, my thick head got the message. Yeah, there was a thing about, um, I was talking on fixed radio. I said fixed radio, six or seven every Friday. So that was just a, a blatant product plug for me, actually, my radio show. It's going quite well, actually, it's all right. Um, one of the things I was talking about on there, actually, was it last week? Week before, I can't remember. Um, 
this thing about pulling main fuses, I don't get where the issue is. Um, because I know in one of my videos I was talking about pulling these fuses out. Everybody does it, you know? Everyone knows that I do it. It's like when you change it. I haven't got to here today, actually, because I've got this isolator. But if there isn't an isolator, you've got to pull that fuse out. Now, you can, I mean, technically, I think you're supposed to apply for what's called a temporary disconnection of supply. But you and I both know that nobody ever does, and that's basically a load of bollocks. You just pull the fuse out, do your work, and put it back in afterwards. And everybody does it, and, but it's like this big thing. <gasps> you pull out main fuses, shouldn't do that. I've got to get the supply coming in. Fuck off, no one does it, you know? You all know that I do it. I know for a fact that you do it. And the supply companies know that both of us do it. So I don't really see where the, where's the big, you know, the big secret, you know? You shouldn't be doing it. Everyone fucking does it. I must be honest, though. I do prefer working on three-phase stuff. I'd rather be putting a big panel in like this and you've got room and you can just take your time and stuff. It is, it is nice, I'll be honest. A few inches later. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Uh, where we're at at the moment is boards on, breakers are in, well, going in now. I've put in the first circuit, that's gone in now, and the rest of the armors, I'm just drilling the holes through the top of the board. Uh, I, sh I probably should have drilled them when it was, I mean, actually, I can take this off, it's not a big deal, but the armors are going in now. Um, it is a long job, <laughs> I won't lie. It's, uh, it's actually quite a lot of work, you forget. And I know one thing I actually forgot, which I need to pick up, what I would have liked on these three-phase ones, on these three-phase isolators here, these MCBs, I should have bought, I did buy this, uh, this um, you get brown, green, yellow, and the blue sleeving chip, this stuff here, but it isn't quite wide enough to slip over the cable, because what, what I was hoping to do was you can just sheath the whole lot, but it's not, it's not long enough, so I'll just put a bit of brown tape on the ends here for a second, so... But hey ho, I've got to dig out my numbering kit as well. I've got that, you know, the numbers which you click on, you, you click them onto the ends of the tails, uh, on the, onto the ends of the cables. I've got those numbers to go on as well, but they are buried in the back of the van somewhere. I've got to find it. All right, it is uh, end of day two here. Uh, well, end of day one, actually, depending on when you've seen this content. Um, board is more or less, it's, well, the board is in, but I've got to, um, I've got to power it up and, I've got some testing and shit to do. And, but for tonight, I've got to power it up in a minute temporarily. I've got to put the, put the isolator back on, but so I'm rambling, it's so fucking late, I'm tired. Uh, it's in, it's working of sorts. It'll do for tonight, I'm just bang the cover in tonight, just put the power on just so the, the security system's got power and all that stuff. Um, so, otherwise it's been a good board actually. It's all right, I like it. It's the first time I've fitted one of these um, isobar boards but they are nice. I don't know if anyone else has seen these, you know, these isolation tabs you've got to pull across. It's a neat idea. I like them, they're good. Uh, but anyway, let me, I've got to finish this tonight, so I've got to crack on. Um, the next scene you'll see will be tomorrow morning. Day two. Day two of fuse board moving dudes. Well, it's not moving, we're just upgrading it. To that <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> That behemoth of a thing. It's actually almost, it's not a million miles off. Um, all I've got to do, I'm, I've run out of, they haven't sent enough of the RCBOs. So I'm just gonna have to make do with a couple of MCBs for a day or two until they turn up. But otherwise it is more or less there of a fashion. I'm just gonna open the door because it gets really hot in here. Two seconds. If this in theory should open. fucking thing again. <laughs> it's early. It's really early. It is. <laughs> Good morning world. We're back. <laughs> yeah, but give it an hour and it'll be hot in here again. All right, apparently this car, um, from what the camera guy was saying, apparently this is like a little rocket on wheels. Mate boy's got an Audi, what's it, S8 is it? S8? Fuck me, he I went for a spin in that the other day with him. It is, that is a light ship on wheels. But apparently this is even quicker, so. Uh, so yeah, I gave up here last night for two reasons. A, because I could feel myself getting a bit fuzzy and tired, but more importantly, I've said this before in previous videos, 
these were the lighting circuits that were coming in, these ones here, and these ones here, I, I, you know, when I said yesterday I'd labelled them all up. When you get tired, you make little mistakes, and they're only little ones, but it's just generally a good enough indication to tell you to stop when you're ahead. I took all the labels off these and just started stripping them, and of course I pulled them all into the board. I don't know which one's which now, so I don't know where the light's which one. I've got to switch, and yeah. When you get tired, you just make mistakes, so I generally find as soon as you feel you're getting tired, just call it a day i didn't want to come back here today because i've got to be at fixed radio tonight from six till seven so yeah i'm going to be here for just a maybe two hours just to get these lighting circuits switched on um and then i can uh, spend the rest of the day getting ready for fix at six one eternity later but this is basically as far as we've got so it's in i've got one circuit there which is a water heater but that can stay off for a second because i haven't got any rcbo's um i've got to earth the board through there but it is earth for the second but i've run out of 10 mil 16 mil earth so but otherwise she's there more or less they do take longer to fit but they are they are nice i do like them they just you need a bit of patience to do these big boards but she'll do for today and those lighting circuits are just gonna have to sit on mcbs until these rcbos turn up when i first saw these rcbos because they don't have um fly leads on them i just thought they were mcbs and i was looking at them like Oh, there's no red test button on them or anything. And I was just like, no, oh, these are definitely MCBs, but they're not. It says RCBL. I was like, where's the test button? It is there. It's just a tiny test button. So you've just got to, <laughs> you, you've got to look out for them because it's a really well hidden. You wouldn't notice it. If you weren't really looking, you just wouldn't see it. But it is there. And I've got to bolt the banjos up there as well. But that can be another day. All right, give me two minutes. Let me whack this cover on. I'll be back in a sec. Um, I'll show you around quickly what we've done. I'm heading off now because I've got to get over to fix. I've got to get over to the studio, but I'll show you what we've done quickly. So that's the board which has gone in. The only thing I have got to do, I've got a, I haven't got any fucking 25 mil couplers. I've got to put a coupler there to go from plastic to Copex, but I can sort that another day. And that's a water heater cable. I've got to tap in, but that's another day as well. But that's basically it. So I've got to label it up and shit, but it's, it's there, if that makes any sense. So lids are on. Dave, meanwhile, Dave is currently back there just putting the other sockets in now. We're actually going for this four inch tray, which we're putting, I don't know, where, where's my finger on the camera? There it is. We're going for this four inch tray, which we're now putting horizontally because George is a great guy, but he changes his mind a lot. And I think this place is changing a lot. So what we're doing, the two inch tray we put up, that's now coming down and we're now gonna put a four inch tray in but instead we're, we're putting it on hangers and it's just gonna lie flat because he's gonna need more cabling over. I can see at some point he's gonna need more. He, I think he said he's putting a detailing bay here with an office above it or I don't know, but that's the plan. So that's why we're putting this four inch tray in all the way around now. However, he came to me earlier and said he wanted to go for like a super industrial look. Now, had I known that, I'd have just put like a, you know, a six or a 12 inch, I'd have probably just put a big 12 inch tray in all the way around, because here you could actually get away with it. There's so much space in this place, but it doesn't matter. Four inches ample for what this place is, but if, if he really wanted a, a full on industrial look, I'd have got proper uni strut hangers and stuff and done it that way, but I didn't know that. So we're actually minus a few hangers. Um, the hangers we've got to pick up on Monday. So at the moment we've got one hanger every <laughs> two meters, I think. So I've got to wait till Monday and then I can bang some more hangers in. But I went into cities the other day to get these hangers and uh, I was expecting the, you know, like the Unistrut ones with the Unistrut arm which comes out. And they didn't, they just gave me these little ones. And they are dinky, they're neat. If you're just doing light duty just for a couple of armors or something, these are ideal. I was expecting, you know, like the big cantilever arm which comes out with Unistrut. But yeah, they're ideal. And this, this is how we're doing it when we join the trays, just nutting and bolting it, and that's it. All right, anyway, we're gonna leave you to it. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the links are good coming up on the screen now. Subscribe, like, patron, yada, 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 and we'll see you in a week's time. Ciao for now.